If you haven't heard, college can be pretty expensive, but with a little preparation, you can help your kid, a loved one, or even yourself get a great education without the burden of student debt. Let's go. A great way to prepare for the inevitable cost of an education is a 529 plan. This is an investment account with tax-free withdrawals and other benefits that can be used for qualified educational expenses. So, K-12 tuition, college, apprenticeship programs, and paying back student debt. There are two types of 529 plans, the Education Savings Plan and the Prepaid Tuition Plan. Educational Savings Plans are similar to Roth IRAs, where you invest post-tax income into an investment account and watch it grow tax-free. Prepaid tuition plans allow you to pay for some or all of the costs for a public in-state school. There are also plans for private schools as well. So how does it work? Well, the great thing about a 529 plan is that basically every single state has one and you can sign up for any of them, regardless of what state you live in or what state the beneficiary decides to go to school in. Just be sure to choose one that aligns with your risk tolerance. As long as you're 18 years old, you can open a plan. Just remember that the beneficiary has to have a tax ID or a social security number, and there can only be one beneficiary at a time. So let's say you have a daughter named Anna. You, your friends, and Anna's grandparents can all open 529 plans naming Anna as the beneficiary. What if Anna goes to a private high school? Great, the plan can help. What about going to college? The plan is made for that. What if Anna decides not to go to college? No big deal. You can change the name of the beneficiary on the account and even change it to yourself if you are the one who opened the account. Now, when contributing to the 529 plan, the minimum and maximum contribution limits depend on the specific plan and the state that they are from. However, if you plan to make a rather large contribution, just know that it may be affected by the federal gift tax. Now, what are these qualified expenses? Well, they can be tuition and fees, books and materials, room and board, internet access, computers and related equipment, and a few other things. Also something to note, any funds that are not used for qualified educational expenses will be subject to federal income tax, a 10% federal penalty tax, and potentially your state and local taxes as well. So it is in your best interest to use these funds for the appropriate expenses. Another important thing to know is that for K-12 costs, there's an annual limit of $10,000 worth of withdrawals. Also for student debt, there is an overall limit of $10,000. Some potential drawbacks of the 529 plan are it's not self-directed, so you have to invest in the specific plans that the 529 plan lay out. Another thing is that they're fees. However, you can find some 529 plans that have smaller and lower fees overall. And lastly, that the owner of the 529 plan has overall control, not the beneficiary. So if the owner decides to change the name of the beneficiary in the account, the current beneficiary has no control over that matter. Planning for the future is important, so opening a 529 plan for someone you love could be in theirs and your best interests. So with that, I'm Evan, and thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then click on the video here. Also, if you haven't, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.